Miracle on Christmas is an okay film, but it's kind of mundane and most of the characters are not very likeable. This was released originally in 2020. It's directed by Thomas Bonifield and basically it's about a family who come together for Christmas and it focuses on the mother, Mary Boyce, and the difficult things in her life. And to be fair, there is a lot going on with her. So while she's really unlikable, I feel like it's kind of excusable. But that doesn't mean it's pleasant whenever she's the main focus because I don't like her. The father is generally likable, but a bit of an idiot. Because at the beginning of the film, to give you an idea of what's going on, at the beginning, he gives his wife a Christmas present of uh, a cruise in 18 months' time. And we learn that he has a diagnosis where it's unlikely he'll be alive after 18 months. So actually, her reaction to that was just completely believable and completely understandable. Imagine finding out your partner has 18 months to live and then they give you a gift of a cruise, a family cruise, for basically after they've gone. A cruise that, as far as the film implied, he was also booked on. He was meant to go, even though he's been told that's probably not going to happen. And then she's going to have to deal with all of that. And I just, I didn't really think he was a very sensible person. And there are so many other things that just don't work well in this film. For example, they go to church and there's this beautiful singer who I'll talk more about in a moment. But then the father, James, says to Harry, the singer, you were a great singer. We could hear you all the way down in the front row. He was literally the row like kind of adjacent to them. So that just made no sense either. And there's so many small things. Nothing major. There is nothing about this that's majorly wrong. There are just a lot of things that either are an oversight or a bit ridiculous or just don't make any sense or just feel completely irrelevant. Obviously, it, it gets quite emotional at times when we think of all of the things that the characters are going through. I won't go into too much detail about the other things, but this family has a lot going on. Maybe a bit too much, to be honest. I feel like they piled one too many things on. Something is revealed in the final third of the film that really shows Mary's in a in a really tough situation. And I just thought you're making it a bit ridiculous now. And all of this is happening while Harry, the singer at the church, is their guest because he he's in town on business. He had nowhere to go. So James invites him back to their house, which is a really lovely thing to do. However, I don't like the way the character is performed. I think it's very clear that the character is, well, I don't really want to say just in case it's not obvious, but there's something about this character that makes him stand out from the others. But he has an almost robotic performance. And I think this was done to make him stand out and to make him seem different. But it's not pleasant to watch. It's really not nice. And I don't like the character. And it kind of became the Harry show. Every situation had him involved in it. And because I didn't really like the way the character was presented, that meant I didn't like a lot of the film. And as I said, most of the characters are just not likable. The children are fine. I have no bad thoughts about those. The mother is annoying. But again, as I said, I can understand the father is okay, apart from being a little bit thick sometimes. The, the the grandmother, Helen, played by Kimberly Crutchum Brooks, I thought she was brilliant. To me, she was the only decent adult character in this. The only character, the only adult character whose performance I enjoyed. There were a couple of other characters who were okay. Basically, if I haven't named them, they were fine. But the ones I've mentioned, yeah, I didn't particularly like those. And despite the fact that... The family, the boys' family, are going through a lot of difficult things. Not a lot happens. And we have this visitor, Harry, who's definitely different and brings a very different energy to the household. But again, not much happens. It's all done with faith and belief. I, I should point out, if you're, if you're not religious, you're, you're probably not going to like this because it's very religion heavy, which is fine for me. That's absolutely fine for me and something I actually quite like. And I will say the religious aspect is done quite well. It's not too in your face, but it's still quite strong. And that part of it I thought was okay. But again, the narrative is otherwise really dull. Most of the characters are not likable. It is festive. There are a lot of beautiful Christmas decorations and, you know, 
Christmas food and presents and, of course, the singing in the church. So it, it's Christmassy and it is heartwarming and occasionally. But in general, it's not a great narrative. If, like me, you want to watch as many Christmas films as possible, I'd say it's okay to watch. It's not unwatchable. But if you're looking for a good film with likeable characters and an interesting, well-constructed narrative, Miracle on Christmas is not going to be that film. <laughs> 